Welcome back to At the Van Wazel. I'm Muffy Lavens, the Director of Public Relations, and I am so excited to be joined by Megan King, one of the dancers with Alley 2. She has been featured in Dance Spirit Magazine on the Today Show and at the Holland Dance Festival. Megan, welcome. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Wonderful. So tell me a little bit, how did you first become interested in dance? Oh, wow. So I, I'd always been dancing in my kitchen. This is where it all started at home. And we're the kind of household where the music is always playing on the radio. So from young, it's always been like the, the old tunes. So I have, I, have a really, I have a very old soul in terms of taste of music because of the way my parents brought me up. So yeah, the, it was always going. So Michael Jackson playing in the background, and Whitney Houston. So I would just be going in the kitchen and it would naturally come. The rhythm would naturally be there. So it wasn't that I was like, oh, I have to get into classes or anything like that. I just wanted to move for the sake of enjoying what I do. So you know, from, from a young age, I wanted to be active. I didn't quite know where the um, need for activity was going to be. I thought it was like maybe sports or, here, or riding bikes or whatever that might be. But I, when I found that it was dance for me, it was like I had a, a louder voice. I'm a petite person, but you know, when I'm, when I'm dancing, I had the loudest voice possible. I'm, I'm best able to share my purpose with the world. I feel like I'm super connected with my, my purpose when I'm dancing. So yeah, um, at a young age, I was started at five going to dance classes. Didn't like it. <laughs> I stopped after a week and a half. So surprisingly, I didn't enjoy it then. But it took me and I found it again at 14 when I was in um, ending, ending middle school, going into high school, that transition. And I went to LaGuardia High School, where I got my first um, official, you know, classes, uh, modern, the tech, the, the, the modern technique, ballet technique, the jazz, the horn, and all of that. So yeah, I think that from then on, it became more codified. I got more mm -hmm. of a the basis of foundation of technique. And I was like, you know, I can I can make a career out of this. It's not just my hobby. It's something that I can I can excel with in. So it's been up from there. That's yeah. a, fantastic. And I love that you mention, you know, you kind of started this as a preteen teenager of really getting that disciplined dance technique and that it wasn't something you know when you were five years old that you're like I'm going yeah. to be a dancer um but I can definitely see where you were dancing in the kitchen because you know Janet and Jim Michael now. like how could you <laughs> yeah. not dance <laughs> catchy you know and this it's still popular now you know absolutely always. Uh -huh. um so what can our audience expect to see when they come to see Ellie too <laughs> yes so we the the program you'll be seeing is poetic motion and in, in that name itself, you know that it's going to be a mixture of dynamics. So there's a lot of fiery movement, but also that in poetry, poetry in motion, you're going to be moved mm -hmm. at, the soul, at the soul. So it's very vulnerable movement, the storytelling, but you're also going to see fiery, bold dancers. And the program consists of, it opens out with, with The Lark Ascending by Alvin Ailey. And this is like one of the, um, a solo and, and duet. So it's an excerpt of a longer work you'll be seeing. And then it goes into Alleluia by Robert Battle, who's the artistic director of the main company. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the main company, Alphanelli American Dance Theater. So that is a very hard hitting, precise, cardio based piece, um, which I, I thoroughly enjoy. Um, it's a it's a it's a challenge for all of us in the best way, I would say. And it goes into next mediation, which is um, by Elizabeth Rojas Dobrish, who is also an, a living Ailey legend from the um, yeah, one of my favorite idols. Uh, growing up in the school and closing out with Enemy in the Figure by iconic William Forsythe. So that is challenging our ballet technique, pushing boundaries. We're um, using a lot of musical phrasing off our legs, just, just pushing what um, the human body can do. That's what I feel dancing that work. So it's a nice range of um, repertory we'll be displaying. So I think you'll be thrilled. I am. I'm very excited to see it. I've seen some of the clips that you guys have sent over. Um, so I can't wait to see the whole thing put together live on the Van Wazel stage. Uh, so when you're training for a show like this, how do you approach and interpret the choreography? Yeah, I think it's it's definitely a process. It could be a quick process. Sometimes we have longer, sometimes we have a short amount of time. Like we just learned the Lark Ascending solo and duet, and that was a matter of a, a week and a half to two weeks. And it's not a long work, but we were able to get all the notes out. So some processes re re um, require a lot of detail and, and thought mm -hmm. and reflections, a lot of writing in my journal about how I'm gonna um, portray this role. And some, it's just about, let's get the step, let's move, let's challenge our bodies. So for myself, it, it's a lot of internal reflection. Mm -hmm. So I take a lot of time with my journal and I, I go through what I need for myself that day. What do I want to challenge myself in, in this work? And 
Um, what are my strengths? How do I want to best portray myself? So it's a lot of, as a human being, what you want to bring to the table. And then as an artist and a technician, how you want to continue to portray yourself on stage. So yeah, I it's, love a, it's that. a process of, it's a mixed process for me. Yeah, that's super interesting. And I like that you bring the journaling into it too. I don't feel like that's something we hear from dancers very often. Yeah, I'd love to write. <laughs> That's, that's beautiful. And it's got to be a great way for you to figure out your role in your character. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. um, how do you stay motivated when you continue to do this show night after night? Mm. I, I think the repetition of it, the one thing that stays constant through all of the different shows we do is that the love from the audience is constant. It's, I think it, it gets more and more empowering as you go. When you're tired, you, it's, it's your last leg of tour. What, what carries you through is the love from the audience. There are people who meet you after just like, that changed my life. Seeing you out there, just stand on stage, your presence and your storytelling, I could see myself in you. And I think those moments are really why we chose to be artists to begin with. It's, yeah. it's a matter of that I can connect with you in a level that, you know, some other fields can't do. Like we can connect to the human being in you. So that's what keeps me going. I. I want to be a storyteller first and foremost. I want, to, I want to be relatable to others. So I keep going with that. I like it. That's great. Um, what is a memorable moment for you with the show? I know it's your second time with Ailey too. So what's been a memorable moment for you? I definitely think my first revelations. And I think you, we won't, you won't be seeing revelations on, the, on this program, but I hopefully I hope that you will be able to in your life at some point or the viewers watching this. But yeah, my first revelations, which is the iconic 30 minute work by Alvin Ailey. Mm -hmm. It's a timeless piece, talks about the struggle of, um, you know, black Americans and how we how we continue, continue to rise above overcoming. And it's a rite of passage for every dancer coming through the Ailey organization and, go, and joining the companies. You feel so empowered. And I, I know that I know my roots when I dance this work. So getting to do that for the first time and I'll be dancing my first Wade couple, Wade in the Water, the baptism section. Um, a lot of new roles that we'll be able to, to dive into. Whenever you do get that next step up, it's like, okay, I've, I reached this new level of, of passing through this rite of passage. So it's it's always an honor for every dancer that gets to move through this work. That's wonderful. Um, and I do look forward to, you know, seeing that piece in the future and, you know, yeah. seeing hopefully what you're going to do in the future too. And, you know, possibly you. being back here on the Van Wazel stage, performing a bigger yeah. and exciting role um, as you continue your dance career. Um, what advice would you give to aspiring dancers? Hmm. I would say that you already have what you need. It's already within you. It was placed within you at birth and it'll keep blossoming. It's so it's just, a, it'll keep blossoming as you grow in life, as you mature whether it be by age, yes, but in your artistry. And I think that we're always trying to find things, ways to improve ourselves, but it was that, that seed has already been planted in you. It's just a matter of you recognizing that it's been there and allowing yourself to water it and grow as you continue to flourish in your art. But trust that it's already there. You don't need to work towards or chase anything, but it's within your pockets already. So just put your hands in there, feel it, go and go for it. Awesome, that's great yeah. advice. Uh, have you been to the Sarasota area before? I have not. I'm excited. Yeah, awesome. I have family in Florida, but haven't been to Sarasota. So yes, it's it's a beautiful area. You're going to have a lot of fun. Our venue is right on the water. You're going to be pulling oh, up gorgeous. and seeing Sarasota Bay. Uh, I hope you get a chance to experience some of what Sarasota has to offer. We have great beaches, great food. So I hope you guys on the cast get to go out and experience oh, that. Yeah. Is there anything else that you would like our patrons to know about the show? I just hope you can come out to see us. It's going to be a wonderful show. We're excited to be there. So it'll be a wonderful exchange between performers and audience. And yeah, we just want to change, change lives. That's all it's about. That's beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Megan. I really appreciate you, you joining me today. And we will be right back with more at the Van Wazel. <laughs> 